Welcome to Dave's Foolishness, where I share poetry, short stories, and selections from books that I treasure, as well as reviews of films and TV series that I enjoy. Today, I'll be reading the short poem Invictus by English poet William Ernest Henley. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody but unbound. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade, and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Henley wrote the verses for this poem while recovering from having his leg amputated as a result of complications arising from tuberculosis. The poem was inspired by this experience as well as recollections of an impoverished childhood. Its message of displaying fortitude in the face of adversity is one that resonates to this day. While there are various historical uses and cultural references to the poem, the most notable and interesting are those involving anti-apartheid revolutionary and former president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela. While incarcerated, Mandela recited the poem as a way to inspire and empower other prisoners. At his memorial service in South Africa, U.S. President Barack Obama quoted the final stanza of the poem. In the film with the same name as the poem, Invictus, Mandela is portrayed as presenting the poem to the captain of the national South African rugby team for inspiration at the Rugby World Cup. Though in the actual event, he presented the text from U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt's famous The Man in the Arena passage from his Citizenship in a Republic speech delivered in France in 1910. It as well carries a message of inspiration and empowerment. In it, Roosevelt proclaims, It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. You've been listening to Dave's Foolishness. Music in today's reading is by Blue Dot Sessions and can be found on freemusicarchive.org. Intro and closing music for today's episode is by Poddington Bear and as well can be found on freemusicarchive.org. If you've enjoyed this poetry reading, please follow me on SoundCloud or subscribe to me on YouTube. You can also receive notifications by following me on Facebook at Dave's Foolishness. Thanks for listening, and see you next time.